apostasy, it's based on similarity and similarity between uh, people. So shared values, like being the same religion, because historically Islam was not uh, based on race. Uh, Islam did not have ethnic and racial conflict like you'd see in other empires, like the Roman Empire and so forth, mm -hmm. because it wasn't racial or ethnic. It was on the basis of uh, similar uh, religion. So I, what he's going for is this is the same argument that uh, the white nationalists make, right? Like they think that being everybody being the same in some sense helps for cohesion and makes a society a better place, which is utter nonsense, right? But you know how, like, again, I can't say the name of these people on YouTube, so I'm going to say the low menonine supreme sandwich people the low melanin supreme sandwich nationalists um they think that oh if we just live together and the people that have high melanin live together separately because we look like each other that's going to be better for everybody and they say look at japan look they all look like each other and they are doing so great and look at us we all look different and we're like, this, the society is falling apart and the sky is falling and everything is crumbling and everybody's unhappy and misery. Maybe if we just get separated, we could be happier, right? So he's saying that we, Islam basically teaches that, but not with skin color, but like everybody being Muslim, like everybody being abiding by certain values and cohesion, everybody acting the same way and talking the same way and dressing the same way and looking the same way, having the same beers and the woman looking kind of like a handmade tale, like all the women look, you know, the men look the same and women basically that nightmare. That's this, is this guy's idea of a utopian society. Or ethnic, it was on the basis of uh, similar uh, religion. So this is a source of order and cohesion as well. And those who um, uh, basically leave the religion, they pose a major threat to that social order and that social cohesion. So he's basically saying that this social cohesion of everybody acting uniformly in the same way um, is, is such an important part of order and cohesion that anybody just deciding like hey guys i changed my mind bye bye i'm gonna go i don't like this he sees that as such a threat to society that it justifies violent to the point of killing that person for the sake of society is that <laughs> that's basically that's basically what you're saying i mean do we do i need to add anything to that like is that not like a nightmare to you guys like oh you change your mind okay 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 that's a threat to us it's a threat to cohesion think about what an what an orwellian nightmare that is like conform or die that's basically what he's justifying conform oh if you say i don't sorry i don't like this you guys be you and i'm gonna go live a different way that's such a threat that you need to be eliminated That's a fucking nightmare. And he is saying that as an explanation for why all of this is okay, for why it's okay to kill ex-Muslims. And this is a very violent act. It's a vi God. Oh, my God. He's saying, like, us changing our opinion and leaving Islam, that's considered a violent act, which justifies us murdering you. Think about that. It's, he describes us leaving Islam as a violent act. And yet they're going to murder us for leaving it. The, 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 the act of killing us for leaving Islam apparently is less of a harm to mankind than saying, like, guys, can I just, like, have different opinions than you guys? Can I just have not agree with you guys apparently that is a that violence of like oop, sorry i'm i'm i miss an, i i don't agree with you guys that violence is so threatening and is such a high high level of violence that killing that person is a correction that is like it's violence as well but it's it's adjusting for the higher harm 
that this person is causing by just not changing their opinion. Yeah, AJ is saying, so basically Islam sees killing apostates as self-defense. Fucking idiots. Exactly. Yeah, and also Andrew is saying apostasy shows the weakness of Islam. Yes, how fragile and how pathetic and how weak your Allah and your Islam must be that people saying, hey, I disagree. It's a threat to its found to its cohesion and everything will fall apart just because like it's a violent threat towards this whole thing just by saying like hey guys i just disagree 